Marco. Ah! Oh, wow. All right, right, let's get so our cool. Check it out. I like the orange, clearly. <laughs> oh my god, this is cool. Coming into the Big Brother house is so exciting. It is like Christmas, Hanukkah, Ramadan, Kwanzaa, Thanksgiving, Labor Day. It, it's all wrapped into one, and it's all here in the Big Brother house for Media Day, and I'm so excited. Well, do we want a room with a door? We want a room we with a door, door, right? Let's grab these. Talking? Brian G, Carrie, and I have been in here before. The returners have to stick together, for sure. Right. It's a no-brainer to try and team up. Okay, okay. But look, okay. we're definitely sticking together. Yes, okay. yeah, okay, okay. I do know that making alliances too early in the Big Brother house can be a little risky, but I do know Patrick. I feel like I, he's got my back. Carrie was in last year. Returners went. <laughs> <laughs> we set up an alliance, but I'm still a little leery because I think there's some ulterior motives of both of their sleeves. And then nothing just happened. We're just enjoying out of, the house. And I'm like, all through. This house is so cool. Wow, look at all these chairs. Like, like a garden? It's like a garden. No! <laughs> 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 Here, let's go. Yeah, here. let's take what? these bets. Yes. Ooh, I like this yes. little caveman oh, sure. thing. Yeah. My main goal getting into the Big Brother house was to get a bed because the people who don't get beds seem to kind of get left behind. Is oh, it a bed or is it like a oh, blow up mattress? Like 10 year old oh, beds. 10 year old me Just would be obsessed. Oh my god, but it's like a sleeping bag. That's good. I like it. I'm so excited because I, as a legit journalist, am joining the other members of the press and hanging out in the Big Brother house for the day. But right now, I'm kind of worried that all the members of the press are going to want to target me. Oh, 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 it's Fireman. Oh, fire 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 on fire. Fire. And bells. Okay. That is, so that is not what you want to be in. In the oh house. no. Those, those, those bells, the fire bells that are in the fire room are going to wake up those house guests all the time this summer. I don't think they want to pick that room. Okay, did you leave it? No, not the back. Is this comfy? I kind of got skunked because I didn't get a bed. <laughs> so I have a corner to myself, but hey, I'm in the Big Brother house. All right. <laughs> Walking into this house, I feel like an outsider. I don't know if I have the best game. Can I take a chair? <laughs> you need another one, you can put them together. <laughs> hey, I got a corner. You can put your shoe in my corner if you want. I feel like those shower stall doors got shorter. <laughs> I think you're yeah. right. Yeah. Yeah. They probably you probably did. Oh, my. So I'm not sure if it's just me and my uh, four inch heels, but I'm pretty sure that the shower doors got shorter this year. And I don't know how that's gonna work with all the house guests. I mean, I definitely see some people getting showmantic in those showers. But we should head over to the couch and like kind of do officially get to know each other. Yeah. Sure, yeah. Let's do it. Hey, I'm Rachel, and oh, should I stand up? Yeah, yeah okay. everybody stay. Hey, <laughs> I'm Rachel. I'm with Bite Size TV. Um, I host a show called Reality Relapse. I am deliriously happy to be stuck in the Big Brother house for 12 hours with Rachel Riley. Our show is only about reality TV, so you guys should all watch. It's amazing. I love her. She's one of the greatest players in Big Brother history, but I want to beat her so bad and just be like, hey, I was in a competition with Rachel Riley and I beat her. And um, I may or may not have been a Big Brother house guest. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> a Big Brother winner, mm. no big deal. <laughs> but don't evict me because of it. <laughs> Being Rachel Riley in the Big Brother house is always a blessing and a curse, but this is really the Rachel Riley game, let's be real. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Nina Parker. I am a correspondent for the Insider Television Show. And I'm really excited to meet all of you guys. I'm a huge Big Brother fan, so Yay! you all seem very lovely. <laughs> uh, hey, I'm Roz. I uh, am a host with Entertainment Tonight Canada. I did not bring any athletic clothes today because everything I've done in life, I've done in jeans and a t-shirt. Roz came in here today. He's playing really chill and laid back Canadian, and I don't know if I'm entirely buying it. Canada has their own Big Brother. Roz, go back up to Canada and play that one. I'm here to win America's Big Brother Media Day. I'm Kelly, I'm with CBS Radio. I work at a country radio station, so if you guys like country music, yeah. go to some concerts. <laughs> I wanna be the nice girl, because I don't wanna make enemies, and I don't wanna put a big X on my back right away. I'm a newbie, I've just started watching recently, and this is my first time in the house. 
I feel like it's like a weird meeting. <laughs> Hi, I'm Carrie Maller. I am the uh, entertainment producer at CBS2 and KKL9 here in Los Angeles. And uh, I enjoy Big Brother. And after today, we'll see if I love Big Brother. <laughs> Um, I'm Patrick Gomez. I work for People Magazine. I also contribute a lot to People.com. I'm a huge Big Brother fan, a reality fan, and uh, this is pretty much my favorite day of the year, every Aww. year. <laughs> the biggest threats today are definitely going to be Carrie and Patrick, because both of those have played before on press day, and whenever you've played, you have a huge advantage against all of us newbies that are in the house. Woo! I am Brian Haug. I am a uh, Big Brother addict. Uh, <laughs> Hi. Uh, Hi. Uh, Hi. Uh, and I am with WWW TV in Topeka, Kansas, and I look forward to uh, expecting the unexpected with all of you. <laughs> These people know way more about this than I do. I think that it's about to get extremely competitive, and I think that all these people have game that I don't have, and I just truly feel that I'm only moments away from being completely slaughtered. I'm Brian Gianelli with Xfinity. I've been in the house before, I love it. Obsessed with Big Brother, I'm very excited to be playing with Ms. Rachel Riley, because she's one of my all-time favorites, so let's get it going. Yeah. All right, well, cheers to that. Yeah, yeah. cheers to us. Yeah. Cheers to Fred. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Work hard, play harder. Definitely thrilling seeing Mike Boogie. He, he's iconic in the game. So I wanted to just pick his brain a little bit. Hello, house guests. I'm Mike Boogie, your host for today's Head of Household <laughs> competition. As a former Big Brother winner and three-time player, I am no stranger to the position of HOH. Head of Household is the most powerful position in the Big Brother house. I am not the big brother expert that these guys are, so I think that I need some sort of edge. There is no bigger edge than HOH. I really need a win. Free from the threat of eviction, the HOH must choose two of their housemates to put on the chopping block. It is so important that I win this HOH because I'm Rachel Riley and I have a reputation that I have to keep up. This competition is called Would You Rather? For each question, I will give you a choice between two things that could happen to you today. Ah! When you answer, don't necessarily give your own opinion. Instead, answer how you think the majority of the house guests will answer. I'm a huge fan of Rachel Riley's, and she is a beast in competitions. But best case scenario is that I win HOH today. If not, then it needs to be Carrie or Brian G, because I know that we'll stick to our alliance and make sure that we're safe. The house guests that answer with the majority will stay in the game. Those in the minority will be eliminated. But be careful. All the choices made by the majority will become a reality for you in the house for the rest of the day. Oh, no! dun, dun, dun! <laughs> the last player remaining will become the head of household. Question number one. Would the majority of the house rather have A, no silverware in the house, or B, no drinking cups in the house. Answers, please. And everyone has selected A, no silverware in the house. <laughs> A lot of people with dirty hands. <laughs> no one's eliminated. On to question two. Would the majority of the house rather see the winning HOH wear A, a banana suit, or B, a tomato suit? Answers, please. And everyone has answered A, a banana suit. <laughs> Honestly, I voted with what I would look better in. No one is eliminated. On to question three. Would the majority of the house rather A, have the HOH pick the have-nots, or B, randomly draw for the have-nots? Answers, please. Looks like we have a tie. <laughs> four A's and four B's. Everyone's agreeing on everything. I'm glad that I'm kind of getting an idea of what the house is thinking, but at the same time, I'm ready for people to get eliminated. I need those numbers to start dwindling so that I'm the last one standing. Would the majority of the house rather have have-nots eat A, 
the dreaded slop? Or B, go old school and eat PB and J? Answers, please. The majority of you answered A, slop. Yes. I'm sorry, Rachel, Roz, and Patrick, you are eliminated from the game. I'm embarrassed. I'm Rachel. How do I get eliminated in my house? This is like my summer home. Some people go to the beach, I go to the Big Brother house. Moving on to question six. Now that Patrick has been eliminated from the game, it's basically down to me and Carrie to win for our alliance, so the pressure is really on. When instructed by Big Brother, would the majority of the house rather A, have to talk in baby talk, or B, have to talk like a pirate? Answers, please. All of you have answered B, you'd rather talk like a pirate. <laughs> okay, ladies and gentlemen, it is now time to move on to the tiebreaker round. <laughs> Please pick up your boards. Mm. This question will require a specific answer, and the closest person without going over will be the new head of household. Woo! <laughs> As of June 5th, how many tweets has the official CBS Big Brother Twitter account tweeted? As of June 5th, how many tweets has the official CBS Big Brother account tweeted? I have got to get this right. I have got to get the number closest. The only person that you can trust in the game of Big Brother is yourself. Anyone can backstab you at any point in time. Answers, please. Nina, I am going to need an answer. <laughs> The correct answer is 3,095. <laughs> Congratulations, Brian H. You are yeah! the head of household. <laughs> Come get your key. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh yeah, I won the HOH and I get to control who's walking out that front door. I am Brian H, the HOH. When we go back in, there'll probably be no silverware. Yeah. Oh, no yeah. silverware. Yeah. Banana suit. When Brian won HOH, there was a little bit of worry because uh, I hadn't really had, uh, you know, a, a conversation with him. A decision to put me on the block required very little emotion. You know, you could make that decision very easily and not feel bad. Because you all tied on the have not question, I will be selecting three of you <laughs> to be the have nots today. <laughs> the three have nots I am selecting are the other Brian, <laughs> Kelly, and Patrick. Oh. Oh. Thanks, Boogie. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Boogie, All-Stars it, Alliance. Exactly, I'm starting early. Oh, yeah, no silverware <laughs> eating oh. slop. Okay. That's not ladylike. No. <laughs> I'm a little ticked off. Like, that's not fair. There's other people that should be have-nots, and I have to eat slop all day? The majority of you chose slop on that question, so inside, there's a lot of slop waiting for you. Oh, and for God. the rest of you, cupcakes! Woo! Yeah! I just want to say, I voted for PB&J, and not only did it get me out of the competition, mm -hmm. but now okay. I'm stuck with slop. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, right? the unexpected. I don't know. The first thing I see when I walk to the door is a big, hot, steaming pile of slop. Oh, what is happening in here? Oh, this is fine. It's probably good. Oh, great. I get to try this for the whole day. Gross. Oh, How are we going to eat it? Pretzel bread. Yeah. We have to make Wait, our own utensils. Utensil. Okay, oh, they so have. Can you use a cup? I knew I didn't like Boogie either. I was going there like, I can't. Sure enough. Thanks, Boogie. Thanks. Weird. Yeah. I feel like when it gets cold, cold, it's gonna be like, jewel, y'all. I'll go see if they have there you go. Cheers. Oh if they let us in, they're gonna be like, it no. jiggles. Blue. It's very, um, You didn't heavy. let me in early. So as if slop wasn't bad enough? <gasps> Not quite. Talk like a pirate. Arr! Arr! Then we also have to talk like a pirate whenever we're told to. And I have to be honest, I don't talk like a pirate well. <laughs> it's really bad. Arr. 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 I have to be able to talk about regular things. Oh, that's good. Arr. 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 Arr.
this pirate talk is really getting annoying. All we know how to say is, arg, arg, arg. I was, ugh. No more of that horrible voice. <laughs> I hope this does not lead to me walking the plank later. Brian H. Please go to the diary room. HOH has to wear a banana suit. Like, okay, you want a majority rules comp, but guess what? You're stuck in a banana suit all day. Brian is gonna be one sexy banana. Don't be jealous, Brendan. One of my duties as head of household is to nominate two people for eviction. I'm expecting to be put up just because I feel like an outsider, the rest of the house guys just have a lot in common and we didn't build any sort of bond with each other. I feel like Brian and I have gotten along well enough so far in the house, but who knows? Anything can happen in Big Brother. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous. I'm gonna get nominated because there's only eight of us and Brian probably wants to not make any enemies. And so it's kind of easy to nominate me. My thought process on nominations is to nominate the individuals that have played the game before. I think this is a good strategy because you can have an easy out whenever people question your decision. It's time for the nomination ceremony. This is the nomination ceremony. One of my duties as head of household is to nominate two people for eviction. I will pull the first key, they are safe. They will pull the following key, and so on and so forth. Nina. Kelly. Rod. Brian. Rachel. Oh. Oh. I've nominated you, Patrick, and you, Carrie, because you guys have played this game before for press day, and I believe that one of you guys is a bigger threat that needs to leave this game. This nomination ceremony is adjourned. I haven't nominated Rachel because I need to play with somebody that is a very strong competitor and I know I can beat Rachel in the end anyway, so why not keep her around? So, my key doesn't come out of the box. I have to say, I'm a little surprised. I thought Brian H and I had a good rapport. Guess it shows that you never can tell. I feel like crap being nominated. I have no idea why he nominated me. He said because I played the game before. Hello, Rachel Riley's in the house. She's like a Big Brother all-star. All she does is play Big Brother. Yay! I can't believe I'm not a nominee! I am so not intimidated by anyone in this house. I'm a proven winner. Ah, I'm so excited! There's Everyone another all-star. Is it like Dan? I bet it's Dan. Oh! Oh, my God. I am Jesse Goddard, two-time contestant on Big Brother and the most spectacular hey. Big Brother house guest ever. Oh. <laughs> so when the doorbell rang, I knew something was going on, and Jesse walked in, and I mean, Come on, let's be honest, he's pretty hot. So it was really exciting to see him back in the house. Follow me, everybody. Hey, 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 Aloha, house guests. I am your V.
Torpedo House. And as you know, there's only six people that can play, so would the HOH and the two nominees please come up here? Oh. Boom. You're welcome. Thank you. Here you go. Thank you. Yep. And thank you. Merry Christmas. Aloha. <laughs> I have three lays left. So it's time for you five to beg me to get laid. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty confident I can get Jesse's attention. So my line to him is, I'm a big brother virgin. Can you please break me in? Jesse, will you lay me? Yes. I'm gonna get lay me. Amazing. You have the best pecs I've ever seen you lay me. This is amazing. Please can I get laid me? Can you? <laughs> Here, I'll Please. give up my veto so you guys can play. Wow. wow. I'm really worried about my safety, but I made alliances with everyone, so I think that I'm okay, and I still have an edge on everyone because I've played Big Brother, so I can still play the mental Big Brother game. All right, come up here, get <laughs> laid. Wow. Oh, all right, yeah. we're all set. Let's go to the next card. Ooh. Oh, it smells very oh boy. ocean. It smells fresh. <laughs> Colors, That's puzzle. not oceany. Uh -huh. Oh, cute. It's a puzzle. It's a puzzle. Oh, puzzle. Oh, puzzle. puzzle. Oh, puzzle. Really puzzle. When we walk into the backyard, we see that uh, the backyard has been transformed into, I would say, a tropical paradise. But this is Big Brother, and this is far from paradise. Welcome to Vito Island. <laughs> Locals traditionally make Vito statues out of volcanic rock, but they've all been blasted apart. It's time to repair the statues and earn yourself the power of Vito. Here's how it works. Throughout the yard, all the pieces you will need to assemble your own Vito statue. On go, you will start running around the yard to gather them to your base. Using the pieces, you must fully assemble the stone statue of your color. Once your entire statue is put together, race back to your stump. The first player to complete the veto symbol and step on their stump will win the power of veto. <laughs> Hold on to your pineapples because it's time to play Veto Island! <laughs> so at this point, I know that Brian H. has it out for any returning players. I need to win this veto comp almost as much as I need air. The stakes for me, since I'm HOH, are very high because you don't want somebody else in the house to be able to change your nominations. On your mark, get set, go! And they're off. Flying through the bushes, getting all the volcanic rock. This veto is important for me because the only way you can guarantee complete safety in this house is to have that golden veto around your neck. But I have to win. The minute I stepped into this house, I had a target on my back. I don't know where I got it, I didn't pick it up, I didn't pack it, I don't know where it came from, but apparently I am the target. The goal of the game is to take all of your same colored puzzle pieces, and go to the veto stone and put together your puzzle. The first person to return to their stump with their puzzle completely put together wins. My strategy for the veto is to get all the pieces together, line them up, and then just go from there and see where they fit together. I want to kick ass at this puzzle. Brian is taking things very seriously, and I was worried in the sense that I don't think that I really even said two words to him. This puzzle is definitely harder than it looks. Not sure if that's a veto sign. I thought I was just gonna be able to put it together, no problem, but this puzzle's a lot harder than it looks. I suck at puzzles. Apparently I've never been good at them. I've only been good with the ones with the big pieces, and these were big, and I still couldn't do it. It's just that simple. I suck. It's 
So I look around, and the two people who need this veto the most are the ones doing the worst. I guess at that point we're competing to see who could lose the veto. I think my rock hard abs would be able to figure out this volcanic rock. Avi. She gets it. Some people are having trouble. Wow, others are flying through this statue. Woo! Yeah! Good job, guys! I don't want anybody to win the veto. I want to control the veto. You have got to move in Big Brother, and you have got to take advantage of everything that you can. It was really important for me to beat Brian. We were neck and neck. I know that he's coming in probably wanting to shake up the nominations, so I knew that I had to beat him. If you want to make a rock statue, you have to think like a rock statue. So close, guys. Holy cow, I smoked everybody. Congratulations, Ryan. Thank you. Good job. Thank you. Nice. I won the veto, baby. I get to control who walks out that front door and nobody else. Looks good on you. I, I think it's my, my new favorite necklace. <laughs> yeah. Now that Brian's won the veto, I have a feeling he's gonna try to like surprise me and put me up on the block. Just because he's here for the hell of it. Oh, hey, I'm gonna do everything, shake the house up. With Brian H. winning the veto competition, I feel like there is even more pressure to get me off the block. I don't know where his head's at. I don't even really still understand why I'm on the block. I am hosed. I am going to be evicted out of this house if I don't do something very fast. I ended up with a lay around my neck rather than the veto necklace. Now it's time to strategize, take as many meetings as I can. I need to get him alone so that I can ask him what he's thinking and hopefully concoct a plan where I'm taken off and not even at risk of going home. This is the veto meeting. Carrie and Patrick, you have been nominated for eviction, but I have the power to veto one of those nominations. I have decided to use the power of veto on Patrick. Since I have just vetoed one of my nominations for eviction, I will have to nominate a new house guest as a nominee. And that house guest is Ross. I have nominated you because you hadn't really done any gameplay with me until I had won the POV, so I believe you are a floater. And as the legend Rachel Riley has said, floaters need to grab a life vest, so you are the replacement. Right. This veto meeting is adjourned. Please cast your vote to evict. I vote to evict Roz. I choose to evict. Roz? Sorry, Roz. I vote to evict Roz. I unfortunately vote to evict Roz. I'm going to vote to evict Roz. Thank you. Thank you. House guests, the votes are in. When I reveal the vote, the evicted house guest will have just a few moments to say goodbye, gather his belongings, and walk out the front door by a vote of five to zero, you are evicted from the Big Brother house. Yeah. Peace out, oh, man. Right on. Thank you. Right on. All right, yeah. bye, honey. Thanks. Okay. Nice Take to meet care. you. Your hair got cut, my beard. I will, I will. I will, I'll, I'll, right I'll, right I'll see you in Toronto, maybe. Yeah. yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Good to meet bye, you. Bye, girl. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Have fun. Bye. 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 Bye.